This is, of course, a big mm -hmm. election year, and perhaps you've already noticed more political ads out there. Here's one you're already seeing on Channel 9. It's for a North Carolina Democrat running for Senate. But this ad was paid for by a Republican-linked group, which probably doesn't sound right to you. Well, our government reporter, Joe Bruno, took a closer look at this and found out it's even more unusual than it sounds. Who's the Democrat for U.S. Senate endorsed by progressives and unions? Erica Smith. This 30-second TV spot is airing on Channel 9 and TV stations across the state. It's part of a $1.2 million ad buy and touts State Senator Erica Smith's progressive positions. Who's got the courage to vote for Medicare for All? Erica Smith. The number one supporter of the Green New Deal? Erica Smith again. A group by the name Faith and Power PAC produced the ad. Touting left policies, you may think the PAC is liberal. But evidence I've found questions that. Documents filed with the FCC show the ad was purchased by Nalen and Partners. The media buying firm was previously paid millions by a PAC supporting Carly Fiorina's presidential bid. According to Faith and Power's statement of organization, the PAC's bank is Chainbridge. That bank has been used by the Senate Leadership Fund and by the National Republican Senatorial Committee. The only public name associated with Faith and Power is Ezekiel Patterson. He's listed as the treasurer on the PAC's statement of organization. The only registered voter with that name is a Republican who's living in Monroe. Tax records show his home is owned by Salvador Pupura. He's been paid by the Bush-Cheney 2004 election campaign, Rick Perry's campaign committee, and even Stephen Colbert's fake super PAC, Americans for a Better Tomorrow Tomorrow. So why is a group with so many Republican ties trying to boost a progressive state senator? Political scientist Michael Bitzer says they likely view her as an easier opponent for incumbent Senator Tom Tillis. If it's somebody who is much more progressive, much more liberal, much more left of center, that's going to make North Carolina much easier for the Republicans to win. This tactic isn't limited to Republicans. Former Democratic Missouri Senator Claire McCaskill wrote this Politico article in 20. It details how she and her consultants put together a $1.7 million plan to boost Republican Todd Aiken through TV ads. Aiken ended up winning the primary and losing to McCaskill in the general. Bitzer says in a center-right state like North Carolina, it's not surprising groups would use this tactic. Any body can participate in politics, so this is what we're stuck with. The Smith campaign and the Faith and Power Pact did not return requests for comment. Cal Cunningham is Smith's major opponent in a Democratic primary. He was endorsed by national Democrats and raised the most money on that side of the aisle for the seat. His campaign also declined to comment. Back to you.